Welcome back and my name's Missy. Today it's all about the foils with the mink machine. I'm also going to be discussing toner images that are printed out with your laser printers. It's kind of hard to get these stickers and stuff off of here. What I like to do is you can see how the foil is right here. I'm gonna push the plastic this way and you're gonna see it just roll up just a little bit and then I'm gonna stick my scissors gently and just snip right there and now you can see that I'm just able to peel this up so just take the plastic and tear it just like that and you've got it off with a minimal damage to the foil since that's right on the edge it's not even going to matter. I really want to show you this up close because it looks like the coatings on the backs of these foils are completely different. All three of these foils. So the first one up here is the small short round roll. For the second one right here the gold that's the short roll that really long roll of red so i'm going to unfold these colors just so i can show you really up close and you can see that they slightly look different in the way they're processed on the back i have the hammer mill card stock my greeting stamped out in the toner ink Seasons Greetings from Christmas Time 3 of the Tim Holtz collection. Placing my image with the red foil and I'm going to run it through on five two times. I'm trying to move this around so you can see how beautiful that foils. Kind of hard to see foil because it always ends up showing up looking black on camera but it, you can clearly see that it's red. Beautiful foil, no over foiling, perfect. Same greeting, same card stock, only this time I'm using the smaller roll of the gold reactive foil. Lay my sentiment inside, cover with the foil, running it through on five two times. The only thing that's changed here is the foil. And when I peel it back, you can see how much overfoiling I get by using the smaller roll of foil. It's overfoiled pretty bad, and I'm, I don't love that. So I just want to let you know that if you're trying my method for the toner ink, and you're using these smaller rolls and not the larger rolls, this is probably gonna be what your experience is and I don't want that for you. So if you're using the toner ink, I'm going to suggest these larger rolls because I don't know what it is, but they're made extremely well and I absolutely love them. Now, that's not to say that you can't still use this. I've got steps to show you how you can still get use out of these really well. I'm going to test out the smaller foils in the round containers. Stick our little piece of foil and running it through on five twice. The words always foil really nice. You see how much overfoiling there is. The smaller rolls overfoil. If we look back at the red one, you can see it just overfoiled a tiny little bit right here. That will easily come off with one of those mono erasers. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried each of the different sized rolls and what your personal experience has been if you've had a lot of overfoiling because overfoiling is something that I want to minimize. I cannot stand it. It doesn't look pretty. Sometimes it can be hard to erase. Clearly, we have a winner with the larger rolls is why I have so many of them. They come in beautiful 
colors. They're absolutely stunning and they work the best. With the next techniques that I'm going to show you, you can still use these. We're going to talk about toner images printed with our laser printer. My laser printer is a brother. My toner cartridges are listed right down here. And if we look right up here on the top where the screen is, it lets you know the model number of the printer. I used Procreate on my iPad to do the sentiment, and then I printed this out on my laser printer. Printed my image using the Nina cardstock. I found that as many tests that I ran, the Nina cardstock was the best to use for toner images. My foil over top. You can see that I have my machine set to setting four, and I'm going to run this through the machine one time. Look how beautiful the words foil. Still do, and you can see it lightly in the background. If I go like this, you can see it. It does lightly over foil a little bit. But that is not an issue because it's so light. Like if I look at it from this angle, I can't even tell that this is ever foiled. It's so light. To get rid of that, you just take your mono eraser and just go over it. And it's really fast because there's not much over foiling on this at all. Just go right around your image and it's just going to take all of that off. So you can see after taking the mono eraser to it, it looks so much better. But looking at this in person, you can hardly tell that there's any foiling going on around here at all. It's very, very minimal. I'm going to use the small roll of gold. Still am using the Nina cardstock. Now I've tried this with so many different settings. These settings that I'm telling you are the absolute best settings to get the best results. I'm using the machine on four, running it through one time. This back. And remember, this is the small roll, but look at that. It did exactly what the larger roll did this time. So it's absolutely stunning and so beautiful, gorgeous results. Okay, so this is so crazy fun, I can't even stand it. I ran this through my laser printer on black cardstock. The cardstock that I'm using is the Astro Brights. It's black and it's 65 pound. Bringing in the white reactive foil. Just make sure that your toner image, because it's really hard to see with the black on black, make sure that it's covered when you stick it into your folder. This is a little bit different. We're on setting number four, but we're gonna run it through twice. Remember, this is a different type of cardstock. So instead of running it through once, like we did the Nina, we're gonna run the, the Astro Bright cardstock through twice. Let's peel it back. Look how crazy good that foiled. A little bit of overfoiling here, but it absolutely is gorgeous. And the Astro Bright paper did remarkably well. I don't have any of the white Astro Bright paper to test, but my thoughts are if it did this well on the black, it's probably going to do really well for your colored foils with the white cardstock that they have to offer because I love that this did not overfoil very much at all. It's beautiful. This is what it looks like once I've took the mono eraser to it. Cleans it all up. So tell me your foil experiences. Do you love the longer foils better than the short ones? I'm really curious and I really want to know. For me personally, I'm having different results with both absolutely love the long foils. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Leave me a like on this video and a comment. It really helps out my channel. Don't forget, if you missed the last video, 
the hack video. It's such a game changer. It's linked at the end of this video. I am so super excited for next week's video. Can't make up my mind if I want to show you the craft room organization video because I've got some new things with that or the Sizzix Big Shot Switch Plus, another way that you can use that machine that you're absolutely going to flip over. Both great videos. Tell me in the comments below which video would you like to see. Until then, I will catch you in that next video. Little Shorty's waking up from her nap. So pretty. And Little Butters is laying in his tunnel all asleep.